Hello, uh, welcome to Extra Photography. Uh, I was showing you the other day how I collimate my uh, astrograph, my Newtonian telescope. Um, but I was thinking that maybe I should make a video showing how to collimate the collimator. And uh, you guys just might wonder, what did he say now? Yeah, um, just because you buy a collimator like the Howie Gladder one, uh, these are very, very accurate uh, already from the factory. Um, but I just have some control issues, so I just want to make sure that the collimator is collimated. And what does that mean? Well, if you mount the collimator into a focuser, like this, and just spin it around, you have to make sure that the laser dot stays in the same spot. If it doesn't, the laser collimator isn't collimated, so you need to adjust some of the screws. And to do that, uh, just grab a 1.5 millimeter hex key. Uh, these ones are uh, very good. I use them almost all the time. Uh, what else do you need? Well, in my case, I made a focuser substitute. This is uh, made on a lath. Uh, it just fits fits just like this so it doesn't wobble anything at all and I can rotate the laser inside this and I can make it inside so I don't have to stand out in the cold one thing that is also good to have is some kind of uh, crosshair you can mount that on a wall a couple of meters away. My wall is about five meters away or something. So I'm going to set this up and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Uh, I'm usually uh, putting this uh, at the edge of the table and uh, clamp it down uh, to secure it uh, firmly. Like this. Um, I have also uh, screwed on the one millimeter potch stop to make the laser dot as small as possible. I will then fit it inside and I will shoot the laser dot uh, at the wall right there. So uh, I'm now going to mount a piece of paper over there um, and we'll start calibrating. Okay, I have now um, taped up a piece of paper in the crosshair uh, at the door. I will start to rotate it slowly, about half a turn. I will go check where it is. Okay, so about three to four millimeters down. And that means the laser needs to go up. And if you see, there are some different uh, set screws here and the laser module is inside. So if I want to make the laser dot go up, I need to either push down this screw here or uh, release those just a tad. Uh, I will try to uh, push this down just barely. Okay. 
There we go. I will go check again. Hi right, guys. This is my Astro Cat Atlas. He's helping me. So the laser dots uh, was getting better, but I need just uh, a tad more upburst. So I'm quite happy with that. I can see on the paper that it turns, but it doesn't move uh, up, up or down or to the left or the right. So I'm quite happy with this. And after all, it is um, uh, quite a long distance, four or five meters to that door. So yeah, that's it. Uh, now this laser is uh, ready to go and collimate the scope. Uh, I was thinking I'm going to show you more in detail how uh, the laser and the tube log is working together. So this is the laser module. Uh, I won't go any further into this one. Um, just going to mention that the battery is inside uh, the body. So to just unscrew the on and off button. And there it is. So, uh, but the tube log itself, uh, it consists of a two inch fitting. Um, here you have the white big, uh, kind of like a crosshair uh, sight. And you have an opening in the end um, of the piece. So basically what you are doing is you're putting down the laser into this. This is just, this is amazing. Just listen to this. The fit is superb. Yeah, so inside here you can see the hole maybe. Um, the beam goes through a couple of lenses. And as I said before, if you look at the dot, it's quite small now. Just pushing it in and screws this and you can see it's much larger and why do you want to make a laser dot larger? well the Barlow accessory um, is actually making the uh, dot bigger to cover uh, the primary uh, center mark uh, and the reflection of that mark is later on bounced back on this disc. So it's much easier to um, narrow the collimation down. Um, I have done this and the collimation is near perfect uh, but my astrograph uh, have a focal ratio of 3.4 and that makes, uh, makes it very very um, narrow and tight in the tolerances so I actually need to uh, fine-tune the collimation uh, in the computer taking exposures with my CCD camera and uh, analyze the frames so I'm going to show you that also but that will be in uh, another video so if you like these videos uh, hit a comment uh, if you want to see something else uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Clear skies, over and out.